Alright, so welcome back. So our load more post works. Uh, so you click it and it loads more post, which is cool. You click it, it loads more post. Again, just to mention it, there are totally different UIs that you could also use. You could also use the style. I'm sure you've seen this where there's kind of like a page one, page two, page three. Uh, we could implement something like that. We'd have to, um, instead of just the limit the last, uh, we'd have to do some other, some other interesting things. But we totally could do that. But this is how we chose to implement this one. So just kind of loading more. Uh, the only thing that I want to do, just like a little bit of cleanup, is eventually you can't load anymore, right? There's no more post to load. Um, and it's a shame that the button is still there. Um, so just a little bit of cleanup. Uh, I want to change that behavior. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a variable. So I'll go into my post service here. Um, and I'm just going to make this variable, um, I don't know, I'll just make it public. And I'll call it hide the load more button. All right, um, I'll abbreviate it a little bit, but I'll make it fairly verbose. Um, and by default, it'll be false. So, right, so I'll hide the load more button uh, is false to begin with. And what I want to do is I want to decide um, if I should be hiding it or not. Uh, and the way you decide that um, is you look to see how many posts you've got. So, like right here is where you, you figure out how many posts you've got. And the real question is, is are the number of posts less than the number you requested. So if you request uh, 20 and it only gives you 15, then you can probably hide the button, right? So right here is what I run, where I want to make this choice. And so I want to say hide the load more button. Um, and so I want to see if my number of posts, um, and the problem that I have here is I, I don't have access to that variable here, right? So that was a variable that was used in an earlier stream. So I don't have access to that variable. Um, but combine latest, uh, can combine many streams. Uh, so there's no problem with just combining in one more stream. So right now it's combining two streams, uh, the post stream and the author service stream. Uh, but we could also bring in the, the num post stream. Uh, that's easy. Uh, now that we've brought in a third string, our fat arrow function is going to get a third parameter. Uh, and then this is the num post. Um, just to make the variable more descriptive, I'll say num post requested. So that's kind of how many that were requested. Uh, and it's a number. I scoot it up on the screen some here, get rid of this giant box. Um, so now I can just say, hey, if the number of posts requested was greater than uh, the post length, so the actual number of messages, oops, post plural, uh, length, then I know I can hide the button. Um, if they're the same, uh, there, there, there will be a little, like, uh, if they're the same, it'll show up and you'll click it and then it'll go away. Um, and I'm okay with that. But if you're requesting, um, you know, 100 and there's only 16 to give you, um, then hide the button. So now the variable is updating correctly. Uh, but we have to do more than just update the variable at the correct time. We have to also hide the button. Um, and so we have to go find our HTML where our button exists at. We implemented it into the post list component. Um, and so we'll just hide this whole thing uh, in certain situations. So we'll do an ng if. Uh, and so this is going to be based on the post service. He has a variable for us called the hide uh, load more btn. Um, and again, I just hate typing code in HTML, uh, but that's, that's the way it works. Um, so you just have to be really careful about typos. Uh, and I actually want the inverse of this. So we want to. So as long as it's not being hidden, we want to show it. Does that make sense? Um, so let's go ahead and save it up and see if it works. Uh, so we're refreshing here. So I'm showing four at a time. Uh, so I click on the load more button and now I'm showing eight, uh, 12, uh, 16. Uh, and it looks like that's how many posts I've got, right? So I must have had somewhere in the neighborhood of, of 15 posts. Uh, just to kind of make a couple more, I eventually want to change this to be like 20. Uh, so I'm going to add enough posts to where I know I'm more than 20, right? So I've got 15 that are in numbers, uh, and then I've got enough others that it'll, it'll have some more posts. Uh, and the final thing I want to do is I want to change my batch size from four uh, to 20. So this way, people won't even really know about the load more button uh, if things fit. Uh, but if they don't fit, uh, there will be a load more button here, uh, and it'll load up 20 new posts. Oh, I think that if I uh, refresh the page here, I think I like nailed it. So it's the second post there. So I have 21 posts exactly. 
uh, which is which is funny. Um, oh, and an interesting little feature here is if I if I kill a post, uh, so I don't know, I just kill a random post uh, to where now I'm down to exactly 20. Um, it will have a load more button, uh, and when you click it, uh, it'll just kind of go away because you happen to have exactly 20. Um, and that's a worst case, but eh, I'm not too worried about that feature. Uh, I wonder which number I deleted. It looks like I deleted number 11. All right, so I think we've got um, got load more kind of uh, wrapped up and polished here, uh, and so we're hiding the load more button. Uh, so I guess that sounds like a good name for my check-in. So hide the load more button when appropriate. Uh, cool. Uh, so I think that uh, looks pretty good. I'll check that in. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll see you next time. I'd say the big thing that we need to work on next time, I've kind of broken my deployed app, uh, are these edit and delete buttons. So we'll come back next time and we'll work on having some edit and delete fun. See you then. Bye. Mm -hmm.